Today's teacher in the classroom is Marcus Rothkrantz. And we talked about how you can find free food and medicine worldwide. It takes research. It takes an openness. It takes curiosity to think beyond what you were taught. Many of us have an incredible education. Many of us don't have an incredible education, but somehow we're closed to these new truths that we're being exposed to. After 10 years of interviewing and learning from incredible teachers that focus on the spirit, mind, and body, not just the body, not just the spirit, not just the mind, you know, not just how you eat. It's a, a whole process, just like Marcus had said today in the classroom, that it's, it, you know, when you, when you drink something and you extrapolate the fiber or you extrapolate the, you, some of the nutrients that, that make the whole fruit what it is. And I'm not saying that juicing is wrong because juicing is a way to help bring nutrients to the body without having to digest and have every cell focused on healing as opposed to digestion. So those, there's a point for juicing, but you know, he focuses on blending and he focuses on, you know, the, the raw vegan lifestyle, which is how I began when I started healing better. It was that one month Raw, go raw vegan for one month. Yeah, I said, bring it. And that was what changed my life. I believe that I feel better today than I did back before when I first started doing the classroom at, at the time was a radio show. So there are several things that are going to be coming from this because, you know, many people are concerned. I get emails about, oh, they're going to take away our food. They're going to take away our food supply. I'm going to hoard up some horrible food so that I can eat horrible food. No, how about creating a garden, which we're going to be talking about next week? And, or how about, you know, what are some of the foods out there that we call weeds that we could eat, that we can learn about? And this book, Free Food and Medicine Worldwide, um, you can get it. We didn't give any away this time, but you can go to my website at whenyouneedafriend.com. Check out, if you're a subscriber, make sure that you subscribe. You'll get my weekly blog and it will give you all the links to Marcus. Marcus and Kara, his girlfriend, is, are coming back or his partner are coming back. And we're going to talk in December about how to prepare raw vegan food. So that in January, I am challenging all of you to go raw vegan for one month to see how you feel, how, you, how, how things change for you. And I want us to be really, really communicative with one another because this is a life-changing decision to say, I am more important than a piece of pie. I am more important than a piece of meat that may not lead to health. I've seen people change their the way they eat and their bodies have healed oh i'm going to probably get zinged for that huh their bodies have changed so i am telling you from personal experience that once you change the way you look at things your life will change but first you've got to stop doing the things that are causing the problem. That's the first thing you got to do. So are you in? Would you be curious enough to maybe accept the challenge of going raw vegan in January? Not only are we going raw vegan in January, we've got so many things going on in January. Actually, uh, we've got the liver gallbladder cleanse that's going to be on the 11th. It starts on the 11th, but we're going to have a meeting on the 8th. And prior to that, I'm going to send you the list of supplies that you need. The, the, the start eating healthy and well. For those of you that are sick and you don't know why you're sick, you're not looking far enough. You're not looking close enough. You're not looking, period, because we have been told things that are not supporting us, how to eat, how to think, how to sleep, how to act, what to believe. And if you think that we're going to be, the food's going to be taken away from us, what better way to learn how to take care of yourself than to grow your own food, to find and forage out there and find the different foods that could not only potentially be 
medicine, food for you, but also medicine. So check out today's conversation. Again, please subscribe at whenyouneedafriend.com uh, and like and follow me on all social media so that we can continue to learn these truths together. It's amazing. I've been doing this for 10 years. And the classes that I'm showing of a year ago, of two years ago, are getting so many views as if it were the first time that they've ever heard of it, because it is. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. And if you're watching this, possibly you could be one of the students. Possibly I'm the student to learn from you. So we're all students and we're all teachers. And I hope that you accept my challenge as we go into January to not just cleanse your liver, or as you go through the holidays, to learn a new way to eat that might be more supporting of you, to get rid of the processed stuff, to get rid of all the, the things that are harming your body, and to step in to a new transformation of truth. Are you in? Would you be interested? Let me know. You can text me at 407-373-5959. We're going to do this worldwide via Zoom. So if you're interested in going uh, raw vegan with me and going back to, to the, the way that nature intended to eat your food, like Ma Marcus said, we're the only creatures that actually cook our food. Think about it. Think about it. I've never heard it put this way, but Think about it. Anyway, I, I look forward to hearing from you because, you know, 2020 was all about clear vision. We know what happened there. And it's made people wake up to the fact that we can take our health back. We can say no to the crap they're calling food. Yep, I said it. Crap. Said it again. Anyway, are you in? Would you be interested? If you are from out of the country, it's whenyouneedafriend.com. So it's lily at whenyouneedafriend.com. Text me 407-373-5959. Let's do something radical. Let's take care of ourselves and use food as medicine. Anyway, please remember, I'll be right here waiting for you worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. This is Lillian McDermott wishing you love, peace, joy, and unexpected abundance. Make it the best day ever. Mwah!